Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over lists in Haskell. So I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, GHCI compiler. If you don't know how to just start it like this, you can click start, go to command prompt, and you can type in GHCI, and it's the same thing. So let's go ahead and get started here. So a list is basically one of the most used um, data structures in Haskell. And lists are awesome. Um, we can we'll basically be looking at lists and strings since strings are a list of characters. So first thing I'm gonna denote for you guys is this keyword called let. And what let does is let uh, defines a name right in the GHCI. So right into this Haskell compiler here. So let's say we say let a equal one and then we say a, we see that a equals one. So that's good for what we're about to do with the list. So we're going to first create a list and we're going to call it uh, even num and I'm going to set it equal to 2 4 6 8 now of course this isn't the list of all even numbers but uh, this gives us four of them so now when I type even num it should return a list specifically two, four, six, eight, which is good. So um, lists are denoted by the square brackets here. So you see those square brackets kind of like arrays in other languages. And the values in the list are separated by commas. So um, let's, let's try to put in uh, different data types inside this list and see what we get back. See if Haskell allows these different data types. So uh, let's put one. Actually, let's let's do this. Let x equal the list one, two. Let's put in a character. Let's put in another character. And actually, that's enough. Let's see what Haskell says. So you see we get an error. Um, Haskell doesn't allow this, but what we could do is we could create a list of characters. H, E, L, L, O. And let's type x, and we get the string hello from the list of characters, which is pretty cool. So there's a few things that you can do um, when putting two lists together. So let's say we have a list one, two, three, and actually, what I do let x equal one, two, three, and I'm going to let y equal four, five, six, and we're going to try to con uh, concatenate or put these two lists together using the plus plus operator. So first I'm just going to use a normal list, one, two, three, Plus plus, that's the operator. Four, five, six. And we get a list one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try that with the variable. Remember, x is one, two, three, and y is four, five, six. So x plus plus y, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's pretty good. And we can even do this with words. So you may remember before I let x equal 
uh, hello and I put it all out in brackets and then I put the character uh, after putting the uh, uh, what is it called colon here and that's kind of long to type out and we saw that once we just pressed enter no oh, sorry there so once we press enter we see that it says hello well we can do the same thing we can just say uh, quotation marks hello and I can concatenate this together as well I put a space and you can guess where I'm going with this world and now you see we get one uh, string saying hello world so that's kinda cool we can also uh, do the same for uh, the list with uh, characters in it so I will say hi and let's say world so now it just says hi world and I didn't put a space in between so that's pretty cool I like that you can do these um, operations now I'm going to introduce you to something else it's going to be a little different let's say we have the letter A and then I do a colon here and then I do B C D E F and what do you think the result will be is A B C D E F so it is another way of concatenating um, strings and you'll specifically notice uh, this colon here and notice how it takes a number or it takes a letter and then it concatenates the rest of the list together so let me show you what I mean let's say we have the list one two three and you can see it there now we can also rewrite that as one two three and then the empty list and we get the same thing so we could also again with the letter write a colon b colon c colon empty list and we get our string ABC so uh, yeah that's pretty useful there now let's talk about the empty list a little bit since I just brought that up this is an empty list and this is a list that contains the empty list and this is um, a list that contains three empty lists so they are all different just to make sure that that's very clear alrighty let's see what else can we do about lists um, you can compare lists so we can say three two zero is greater than uh, two three one and is this true or false this is true um, we can also do uh, e equal to I'm sorry it actually be equals equals and that would be false we can do 
less than and uh, I'm sorry, uh, greater than and equal to, and we get true. And then we can also use some functions as well that are with the Haskell compiler with lists. So we use head, that's a very popular one. So the head of a list five, four, three, two would be five. It just gives us the first element in the list. Uh, another function that we can use is tail. And for the same list, five, four, three, two, we get the rest of the list, everything that's not the head. So everything that's not the first element. So we get the list four, three, two. We can also use last and five, four, three, two. Uh, last will give us the last element in the list. So it gives us uh, two. And another popular one is init. I N I T. And it gives us everything but the last element. So five, four, three, two would give us five four three. Okay. Whew. There's some other functions that you can use um, to check to see if a list is uh, empty is the null function. So a list that contains one, two, three, it tells us is it null? The answer is false. But if we do the empty list, then it's true. And let's try a list that contains the empty list. And that's false. So you can see that um, this is not the equivalent of an empty list. And maybe I go over one more function. Let's do reverse. And reverse takes in a list. So one, two, three. And you can guess what it does. It reverses it. And you get three, two, one. So there's some other functions as well. Sum, product, drop. Uh, one more important one, I believe that this is a important one, is the lm function. OK, so the lm function um, takes in an element and takes in a list. So it's usually called in the infix function. So you know the uh, it's usually written like something like three. I'm sorry, three lm and then some lists. So we we'll say one, two, three, and it's going to tell us if that element is in the list. So. Is three an element of one, two, three? And the answer is true because we see that the three is there. I'm going to type it again the normal, well, I say the normal ways the way I'm used to writing it three and then one, two, three. And the same answer, of course. And let's check for an element that's not in the list, like five. And is that in the list? Three. And the answer is false. So thank you guys. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe.